Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this, eh, nah, nah. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. I post a video. Welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed for my videos that I post every Tuesday. Post a video Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed for a video that I post every Tuesday. Post a very new video every Tuesday. Subscribe to be notified then. Press the little notification button so you can just Watch my videos and be amazed. Also, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So let's get into this to, to, yeah, let's get into today's video. Let's get into today's video. Let's climb in there. Hey, it's Lucy here, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe for a video that I put that I subscribe because I post a video every Tuesday. <laughs> Lucy here, your curly queen. If, uh, if you haven't already subscribed for a video, I post one every Tuesday. I post new every Tuesday about hair, skin, and other lot things, so subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So let's get into this today's video, shall we? Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut, how I cut my bangs, because as you can see, they need a little bit of a trim. So yeah, I'm going to speed this up, but I'm going to give, I'm just going to write the bottom, I'm going to write with writing step by step what I do, but yeah, enjoy this video. So that's it. Basically what you do is take your comb, comb down. Um, if you have longer hair, I'd suggest to your nose. If you have shorter hair like me and you have curly hair that shrinks up, I suggest cutting to your just to your lip line. Um, yeah, and you can cut as much as you want. Obviously I only have little pieces and I have longer pieces so that I can have it where it is a fringe or I can tie it back so it doesn't bother me. I can do it like this or I can put it in the middle like that. So. It really depends on what you want to do. Um, yeah, so take the comb, brush it out, take the scissors. If you have professional scissors, I suggest using those. But if not, then you just use the sharpest scissors you have. Um, using the sharpest scissors you have. Um, and then you just cut at an angle. Cut at an, and an angle and a straight line and then line them all up. They're all the same size, but because my curls, if my hair is curly, it doesn't look like it, but they're all the same. And they're about to here, so to my nose, but I didn't cut from my nose, otherwise they'd be really small. I cut from my lip, they just shrunk to my nose. So yeah, um, it's really up to you, but it's super easy if you want to try it. What cute fringe that you can push back, but still have. Um, I really like this, and... It's cute, and it gives me more volume up here anyway. So yeah, if you want to try this, try it. If if you don't feel comfortable trying it, then don't do it. If if you know someone that is comfortable doing it for you, then ask them. Or if you just go to the hairdresser, then it's way better. Um, but yeah, if you want to try this at home, 
it's super easy and as you can see you can try it at home thank you for watching guys and tune in for next week's video on hair or whatever else i'm gonna talk about <laughs> um thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up Woo! some fight <laughs> bye